Bulubinak everybody and welcome to another week of Stylish. I'm your host Fuzz. This week we're doing something quite exciting, something in fact that's never been done on Fijian television. So we hear a lot about designers and we hear a lot about the beautiful things that they create and of course the shows such as Fiji Fashion Week which expose the talents of these amazing designers. What we often don't hear about though are stylists. I myself am a stylist so I am a little bit biased but today I get to feature two of my incredible friends, Andrew Powell and Dan Paris Matinimeke and we're going to have a little bit of a stylist challenge. So stay with us, we have an exciting program for you next. So here I am with two incredibly talented people, two stylists, two that are cut from the same cloth as I. How are you both feeling today? Good, thank you. Excellent. So first I'm going to, so this is Andrew of course, Andrew Powell, and this is Dan Paris Matinimeke. They are both very well known stylists um, and fashionistas within our local scene. Dan in fact is known for some very exciting provocative looks at events, aren't you Dan? Yes. I'm going to throw some of these up right <laughs> now just so that everybody can look at Dan. So Dan, you've been styling yourself for a while and then you've of course worked in retail so what's it been like for you your journey as a stylist um it's been challenging well not trying to um create a look like if you're going to an event and you have to put on something it's always the very last minute for me but it pulls off yeah it does pull off well i mean you've been like featured on best dress list yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> how does that feel did you think growing up that you would become a stylist or is it something that you wanted to do uh, I had, I've, I'd always loved clothes. Um, a lot of people always ask me, um, where do you find all your clothes? Or, well, I go to thrift stores. You have to really take your time to look. But some people don't have patience to go through, so I have the patience and I find the look. So how long does it take you roughly when you're shopping? Um, uh, one and a half hour. One and a half hour? Yeah. In like one shop? At one shop, like just going through the rack one. But Wow, yeah. I need to send you shopping for me. <laughs> Because that's a lot of patience. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, of course, we've had you on the show before. Um, you're the chairperson of the Fashion Council. What, what do you think about sort of pairing Fijian designers with thrifted items? Um, well, uh, um, you know, now we're all about sustainability. It's a very strong trend. Um, and at the same time, you know, we do want to support local designers and um, garments or products that are made in Fiji. So. Um, it's a good way of, you know, combining the two, I think, and being a bit more adventurous with your style, um, finding items in a thrift store um, and pairing them with uh, locally designed garments, because at times um, you might find just a skirt uh, or a top or, you know, a, a one item of clothing from a local designer. Um, and you, you may want to add to that look. So what better way to do it rather than buying something brand new and contributing to landfill, um, finding something that's thrifted and putting an outfit together that has like a really good message behind it and a story. And you have practically sort of put that into practice because uh, recently, in fact, in the last couple of weeks, since the last time we spoke, you've launched a Instagram page called Fashioned in Fiji wherein you're bringing together the two elements, much like actually the, the challenge that we have today. So what, what was that um, idea born out of? And is it something that you're enjoying doing? Yes, it's something I enjoy doing. It's, it can be quite challenging um, at times, um, but I think it was born out of really what's happened now with the global pandemic and COVID-19. Um, it's sort of made me think about the industry that we're in um, and how we can, you know, um, do our part to contribute to um, sustainability and, um, you know, improving things with the processes that um, clothing manufacturers and labels use. Um, and at the same time, um, combining that with um, you know, locally designed garments. Again, just to highlight to people that um, you don't have to always buy things that are imported. Um, there's a lot of talent, raw talent out there in Fiji. Um, there's already established businesses and designers, but there's also new and uh, up and coming ones. Um, and yeah, why not buy their clothes? You know, if you buy 
an, an item of their clothing, um, you know, you're actually supporting the local economy and you're supporting, um, you know, Fijians that are, you know, employed within Fiji and you're keeping the money within Fiji rather than, you know, spending the money on something that may have been made in China, um, you know, possibly for five dollars. So for someone like me, I like to wear both men's clothes and women's clothes sometimes. But then I feel like people, when they go thrift shopping, they shouldn't, uh, like women should not only go buy for, uh, for themselves like women's, they should also explore the men's because you can, um, women can even wear men's stuff and style it up in a way it looks feminine but it's still stylish at the same time, yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, things like uh, men's shirts, for example, right? So men's shirts or men's t-shirts. Um, a lot of stuff actually that's oversized, uh, oversized is quite nice on, on smaller female yeah. frames, eh? Yeah, you, you can just pull it off with like a belt or something like that. Yeah, yeah. excellent. So what about you? What do you think? Um, yeah, I, I feel the same way as Dan. Um, even uh, graphic tees, for example, like um, girls, it's a strong trend, especially with young girls, but uh, they often tend to make graphic tees a little bit cooler for men. Yes, it's so true. Oh, it's yeah. So true yeah. So a lot of girls are now venturing into the men's section to find their graphic tees. Um, I sort of, I think I've always had a style that I'd, I would have liked to express. Um, but now, um, well, I've lost a lot of weight recently. Oh yes, for everybody that doesn't know, Andrew is actually the king of the keto diet. So it's something I myself have tried multiple times. And then I was a vegan, and you know, I mean, you followed the show long enough to know that I've been on multiple diets, even over the last 20 episodes. However, Andrew has done the keto diet and has turned into a lifestyle and stuck to it. So how much weight did you lose, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, 65 kilos at the most. Wow, that is impressive. Yeah. So did it make it easier for you to shop? Yeah, it did. It made me, it made it easier for me to shop. Um, you know, before I was limited to, um, you know, buying things from like the big man shop, you know, so basically everything that I would end up buying, I kind of like looked like I was dressed as a dad. <laughs> um, so now I feel like I can, there's more options for me, so I can express my true, um, yeah, maybe, you know, like my yeah. inner fashion, fashion, fashionista or my aesthetic yeah. more. Um, but I like, do like to mix it up and wear a bit of streetwear and then go a bit more formal sometimes. So um, I don't really have like a very strong aesthetic. Um, I really like, I think Dan definitely has like an identity and the, the way that he puts things together is really incredible. I always look forward to what he wears at events, yeah. Um, so I think I agree too that people should be a bit more um, free to express themselves through fashion. You're going to be hearing a lot more from my two special guests right after the break where we will be following them around while they go and pick up some thrift store finds for our stylist challenge. Are you guys ready for this? So the <laughs> rules are basic. One local designer in your look. Everything else must be thrifted. There are two looks, date night and streetwear, because I love streetwear. And it all has to be for under $40 for both looks. Are you guys ready? That's challenging, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We'll see you after the break. in Queensland Insurance Arcade and I'm here with Eli, he's the head designer for Zubair. Um, so Eli, um, we're starting off the style challenge. 
for stylish and what we're going to do is go to um, local designers and choose items of clothing um, from local designers and it's made in Fiji and then the challenge is to um, also go to thrift stores and select thrift items to put together um, a cohesive look. Um, there's two looks, there's a date night look mm. and there's also a streetwear look. So I was hoping that you'd be able to take us around the boutique and maybe explain to us um, something about your new collection that's on display and hopefully I can steal an item from your new collection to style. Sure. Thank you so much for um, considering Zubair. Um, we uh, designed our latest collection in response to what's happening around the world. Uh, especially with COVID, we decided um, to release a collection that looks um, luxurious at home, but also you can step out of your home while you're um, in it. So with our latest collection, we decided uh, to call it the lounge collection mm -hmm. so you can uh, be at home you know comfortable in your bedroom or while you're cooking and then maybe you decide to step out um, to take the dog for a walk or just to go visit your family and you'll still look good and chic in your outfit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to um, stealing a piece from your latest collection and oh. I already have a piece in look? mind. <laughs> Which one are you looking at? Um, so I'm looking at this kimono robe over here. It has really caught my eye. Oh, well, now that I've got the piece that I've had my eye on, um, we're going to head off to Samson Lee Boutique, which is just up the road in Butt Street. And that's where I'm hoping to grab my uh, evening wear piece. Uh, sorry, uh, evening wear? Date night. Which could awesome. be. I'm to see if you come up with the Thank you. And thanks again. If you could, uh, actually, I might just take a quick photo of this. Yeah, sure. If you could hold that for me, because I'm going to need that as a reference for when we go thrifting. Yeah, what to, what to style it with. If you could put that aside for me for safekeeping. Okay, so we're headed off to Samsung Lee Boutique. Okay, so uh, we're here with the lovely Kaya, who is a model for Samson Lee. Um, Kaya, um, I'm looking at this print and I really love it. Uh, what's the name of it? So this is a Yaro collection. Um, it's our latest one, came out just just this week actually. Okay, so Yaro is the Fijian name for that leaf, isn't it? Yes. That's lovely. I love the colors. Part of our Yaro collection is the very exclusive um, our black and white pieces. So we only have two left, actually. Oh. These are the only two. So the wrap dress and the shift dress here. If you want to take oh, a look cool. at these. So that's a wrap dress. So this is size 16 to 18, right? Yes. So that's really great that Samson Lee um, does, um, you know, a full range of sizes, mm -hmm. you know, for all um, shapes and sizes uh, of women. And that's great. So, uh, unfortunately, the model that we're going to use for the challenge, um, she's a size 10, so that might be a little bit too big for her. Um, however, I'm sure some, you know, one lucky woman will come into the store and find this dress oh, and yes. it'll look amazing. Um, I'm, that piece behind it. This is a 14 to 18. Okay. Can you fit a 14, actually? That might actually work. Um, you know, mm -hmm. I might be able to find a cool belt. 
cinch in the waist. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's more or less a free size dress, isn't it? So it's quite versatile. This is here. Oh, okay. Can you keep that aside for me? Yeah. Because I sure. think I'll definitely right um, choose this piece here mm -hmm. for the evening wear. Okay, so I think we've chosen our look, which I'm going to use for the uh, evening wear challenge. So it's just part of the Yaro collection. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a, a shift dress, but you can do a lot with this shift dress. I think you can uh, add some cool accessories like a belt to cinch in the waist, mm -hmm. maybe a jacket if I'm lucky enough to find one. Um, I think this would be perfect. Thank you, Kaya. Oh, I'll put this aside for you. Alright, so we're here at The Bulk, which is one of my personal favourite thrift stores. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to find all, if, if I'm lucky, or some of the pieces that we'll be able to use to put together for the looks. Um, so, here we go, here's The Bulk. found what I uh, came to get for my streetwear look here at the Bulk. Um, really excited. I've got some cool pieces and yeah, really excited to see how it'll all come together once we're back at Zubair Boutique and it's on the model. So, all good. Now we're on to our next stop. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find my piece to go with my evening wear look. We're here at Valley City Nambua and I've just finished doing a quick shop up there. Um, found what I needed for the evening wear date night look. So super excited. Um, they had a 50% off sale today so I scored. I actually came in under budget and I got a skirt, a jacket and accessories for $14. So it's a bargain. Hi, I'm Dan Martinimeke, fashion retailer, stylist, and social media enthusiast. I'm here at the Bulk Fiji, um, taking you on a shopping spree on a budget. Um, there's a style challenge going on, and I'm going to be picking two looks today, one streetwear and date night look. Um, for streetwear, I know um, climate in Fiji is very hot, so we'd like to go with something a bit uh, like summer, since there's a lot of sunshine in Fiji, I'd go with something sleeveless because because it works well with the weather. Yeah. For streetwear, I will go for um, my style is more of colors, so. I like I like bold colors in my um, in my style, and uh, 
let's see what we have in this rack. Uh, for this one, I would go for this neon colored top. Um, I like the colors and the, the bling on the side. Yeah, I'll go. This would be my first option. This is actually, you can also, one thing about this, um, it looks like a dress, so you can also wear it as a dress, which is good. Improvise. Um, I'll try and get a bottom for this look. Okay, so I've, I've gone for something um, short, as I explained uh, uh, before, that um, since climate in Fiji is very, very hot and summery, so I feel like this kind of uh, look to match the other top would be perfect. It has like a peplum detail here, which I like, and it would, it would be a great streetwear look. I'll take this to it. So how much is that? and this one is for $18. There you go, $18 for my streetwear look and great buy at the Bal PG. Ah, yes. So I've got this one here, this uh, leopard print top, long sleeve, which is perfect. Um, I think for this one you'd have to wear something uh, like a camisole inside because it's kind of transparent. And uh, oh, I've got another top here. It's mustard in colour and again animal print. Um, I'm a fan of animal print so, and this and this really matches. So this would be my second options for a date night look so it's good to have options and the good thing that is everything here is a dollar so why not have a lot of options so how much is all of that again? one dollar so two dollars two dollars for a purchase it just gets better and better. Okay, so um, our next stop, we're here at Mademoiselle. Um, it's the sister shop of the bulk and uh, it's also a thrift store. So we're gonna go check out for to complete our date night look. Let's go inside. <laughs> um, so I've found something. Um, this is a leather skirt. I think it'd be perfect for a date night look. Uh, yeah. And you can also style it up too. It's very short though, but we'll make it work. <laughs> um, let me just go for another one. I'll just go for another one to um, so I can have options. Go. 
Okay, so I've, I think I've found one that I like. I like a good tea skirt because um, you could also, you could wear it to work, you could wear it to a date night or an event or something. And um, yeah, a tea skirt. A nice, um, I think this is green, is it light green? Yeah. I was actually thinking of this one, but then um, it was too small. Do you like this? I think it was like, yeah. this is a fine look. I like the color. Yeah. And it's got a nice bow. So that is my look for, I think I've got everything inside that I need for my streetwear and date night look. Um, after this, we're gonna head to, we're going to visit our local designers, our local fashion designers, to um, try and get a piece of, um, of their collection to fit into what I'm putting on all together. So streetwear and date night look. So for my streetwear look, um, I was uh, I'm going with this Zubair throwover coat. Um, I think it'd be perfect for my for the look because it kind of throw off the colors that are inside the the neon top and the green skirts. And uh, this to go over it will just be the, the perfect icing on the cake. This is what I was going with. What's up guys? So, so far, we've been on an adventure with Andrew and Dan through thrift stores and local designer stores. I am going to try and source my entire look from Palm Court because as we all know, I love Palm Court and the Silver Fashion Hub is an incredible place to shop for fashion. My first stop is a well-known Pacific Islands art managed by my dear friend Kenneth Simpson. We all know Kenneth from a previous episode and he is absolutely hilarious. I haven't told him that I'm coming through so I'm hoping that he doesn't kick me out of his store. But we're going to try to find something really, really cool and chic. I'm going to focus on um, bottom pieces for local designers because something that we don't often look at. Uh, normally when we go into a local designer store we're looking at whole dresses or we're looking at caftans or we're looking at muumuu dresses. But in this case, we're just gonna be looking at skirts for women. So let's head on in and pick up a beautiful printed, block printed Pacific Island art skirt. Hello, Kenneth. Hello, my sweetie. How sweetie. lovely to see you. No touch, no touch, no touch, <laughs> social distance. I can't believe we're still taka touching, but yes, absolutely. I'm sorry to be here to bother you, but I need to be cool. <laughs> yes. Don't you love being bothered by me though? Yes. It's one of Kenneth's favorite things, is to be bothered by me. Yes, I have an opinion, but anyway, I can't say it on TV. <laughs> so today what I'm looking for is, I know that you guys are known for like your beautiful prints, and usually it's like dresses or jumpsuits. Yes. Today I want a skirt. Skirt. Yes, I okay. don't, I think there's a lot of people who don't actually know that PIA makes beautiful yes. skirts and stretch yes. fabric, right? Yes. So, show me your options. Right. Okay, these are what we have. We have skirts, we have two, we have all the way down to the ankle, full length skirts, and we have knee high skirts. I think for you, we should go with the knee high, sweetie. Oh, that is beautiful. Look and I think that. that would look great on my model as well. And we do colors, colors galore. Look at the explosion of colors here. Gold, brown, nice earthy brown. Yes. Beautiful, do you think that this is a good date night skirt? I think it's a nice bright color for the evening, and then probably pair it with something blingy, shiny, probably sequins. Excellent. Yes. This is why you are a stylist. In fact, I had wanted Kenneth to be on this episode as a stylist, but he told me to go away, didn't you, Kenneth? We love you still. <laughs> stylist is John Apted. She's the icon. Oh, no. Nobody should ever take style tips with John Apted. 
But this is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Thank you so much for yeah. that. Do you mind if I take this? All yours. You are fabulous. So everybody, Pacific Island Art skirts. How much are they? In store? Oh, this is six so I will give you for five or. Fifty dollars, everybody, for an investment piece from Pacific Islands Art, one of my favorite spots in Suva. Yay! So I have found an incredible skirt from Pacific Islands Art. I'm not surprised. Pia is one of my go-tos, and in fact, should be everybody's go-to for some really, really cool basics, especially if you want them to stand out. And if you want to stand in the crowd, PIA, wonderful, bright, vibrant Pacific colors. What a lot of people don't know is that, in fact, all of PIA's prints are block printed, so they're like hand-carved blocks um, in traditional sort of Tahitian design or Tahitian print styles. And this is going back generations. I mean, it's a family business that has existed since the 50s in Tahiti and now is very well based in Lautoka. So a Fijian label with Tahitian roots, which I think is fascinating. Now, in keeping in that theme of exploring Fijian designers that design locally um, with international influences, let's head into Aladdin's cave to look at some accessories. So here we are at Aladdin's cave. It's been one of my favorite treasure troves since I was very, very young. I remember when I lived away, I would often travel back um, to Suva for the holidays and I would always stop off at Aladdin's cave to see what they had, which is really a testament to how incredible Elaine is as a curator of jewelry. So Elaine recently has started designing jewelry in Turkey and having it produced in Turkey as well. So there's a lot of this sort of beautiful stuff and I think I'm actually gonna pick this up one of my looks. Um, so it's a leather piece um, with this beautiful coral detail and it's a cuff. Now these sorts of things add a lot of dimension and character to any look that you're putting together. So I think this is something that I might actually pick up because um, I think it's quite incredible. Um, I also believe that Elaine has a whole bunch of scarves. So um, she had designed these um, beautiful ties and scarves, um, I believe a year ago now, which feature Pacific design and are 100% silk. So her scarves that are in here, which I will pick up and I'll feature in the last um, segment, you'll, you'll have a closer look at it there, because I don't know where they are right now. But this is Aladdin's Cave, so this is where I come to for my jewellery, certainly somewhere that you should explore, because it's designed in Fiji. So now I'm back at the Zubair Boudoir. Now of course, obviously, it's one of my favourite places, because it reflects my aesthetic. Now, in looking for skirts, I wanted to do something for day wear that is unusual. I have been in love with this particular fabric for some time because it looks evening, um, but it's something that you can actually dress up for the day as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now, I have recently seen that Eli, the creative director and the head designer, has designed this gorgeous skirt, which has incredible weight. Um, which sort of like has beautiful flow when it's on. It's just, it's so buttery and, um, and luxurious. And I feel like especially in these times when, you know, some days we don't feel, we don't feel so good. Um, it's nice to wear something that makes you feel expensive, that makes you feel, that makes you feel like you're sort of like walking in luxury. And I think that this is one of those things. So this is definitely a skirt that I am picking up for my look. Now, the, for my day look, I must say. So this is my streetwear look. I know it looks very evening, but I'll show you how to make it work. Now, another thing that a, pe that a lot of people don't, aren't, sorry, aren't aware of is that sometimes um, boutiques like Zubair Fiji um, have vintage racks because we're collectors. So I'm a curator and a stylist by training, and I wanted to create a space where I could curate things that I liked and I loved. Um, so we have a rack here, which essentially has all vintage pieces, hand-selected vintage pieces, which are really, really cool. Um, and it's sort of taken off this, um, this interesting concept from Maya department stores in Australia, where their basement section actually has a whole bunch of vintage jeans. So I thought, okay, well, what else can we do? That's vintage and cool. So I picked up stuff that was relevant to Fiji. Now, this is a gorgeous vintage dress and this bag as well, which is really, really lovely. So it's sort of hand beaded and sequined, which is, which is quite unusual, especially now. Um, and this wonderful dress, I think I'm gonna pick up both of these items. This dress could also be worn as a top because it is so, it is so thin, it is so fine. Um, it is a big size, but my model is quite a small frame. So I believe that it'll still work and create some volume. 
um, in particular with the PIA skirt that I had before. Definitely picking this up. Also when shopping vintage, I think it's really important to find good t-shirts. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of vintage tees here that I quite like and graphic tees. So, I mean, th these are, you know, I mean, t-shirts are always a super cheap hack in anything that you do to make something high fashion. So I would always suggest to find t-shirts that have either a beautiful all over print or a very significant um, graphic in the front, which I can't find right now. But I will find in a bit, and when I do, we're going to put this all together to create an incredible street look. Street looks are my absolute favorite thing to do because I'm so interested in what people wear in their everyday lives. So we're going to put that together for you, and you can let me know how you feel about it when it's done. Alright you guys, now for the exciting part, we finally get to see the final look. But um, yeah, you might have watched Andrew earlier on, we were following him around to all the thrift stores and everything. So I'm really excited to see the final look and it's not done just yet, he still has some final touches to do. But yes, this is what we have so far. Andrew, can you please tell us about this look? So you might remember um, from... Uh, when we visited Samson's store, this is the shift dress that I pulled from his Yarrow collection. So if you want to just have a quick twirl and show the audience the dress. This is Mariah, by the way, our beautiful model. So what we did was we went to Valley City in Nambua. Um, Valley City has different branches around Fiji, but we went to the Nambua one. Um, so I only had $20 to spend. So it was a bit, bit of a challenge, but I found this sort of suede um, waistcoat or gilet, if you want to be fancy, just to put over it, especially since, um, you know, now we're sort of getting this transitional weather in Fiji and we actually do have like a winter or, you know, a mild winter, um, the weather can change. Uh, so you can either wear it just like that with the gilet. I mean, the dress is beautiful on its own. You can wear it on its own. You can layer it with this, um, this suede waistcoat. And then if you want to add a further accessory, I found this belt from um, the bulk. Um, so you can just put that around. If you want to sort of cinch in your waist a bit to create a bit of shape and a bit of texture. Like that. And then I found this uh, sort of hammered metal gold bangle just to add a pop of color. And then that changes the look again. So you kind of get three looks right. in one there. I love it. You like it, Mariah? Yeah? It's a bit more of a mature look. Um, for a date night, so... The makeup is very natural. It goes also with the outfit. Yeah. Well, I hope you like it too. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that is Andrew's date night look. But stay tuned to find out what his street look will be. Look, now I'm here with Dan. Um, so this is his look for the day, his date night look, and I must say it's really interesting. Can you just tell me more about the top? I think it's interesting how the sleeves. So for my for the local uh, designer that I went for, I went for this Niner top. It's got um, it's very it's got a long sleeve with a little slit, which I really like. And uh, the skirt was. Um, this was a thrift buy. I'm a really big fan of tea skirts. I really admire women who wear tea skirts, so that's why I went for this look. And the color kind of complements each other. I didn't go much for the um, for an, for a necklace, but I went because the neck part is a bit, it's very high. So that's why I went for this look. And it's got this bow detail here, which I like. And it's a bit puffy at the bottom, which I like too. And 
that's my day. Right. And in total, how much does this sort of cost you? Um, well, the skit was $15 per yeah. mademoiselle. Okay, so there you go, guys. Under 20 bucks, a date night look. Okay guys, so our very own Faz is Hi. also here <laughs> and he has his date night look for today. I do, so like, I mean, like full disclosure, I don't, I'm not fantastic with date wear looks, street wear is much more my thing, so I'm looking forward to that segment. Having said that, I am going to be focusing on bottoms. A lot of the time when people think about um, Fijian fashion designers, they think about full looks. So they think about like, you know, a dress or they think about like, you know, like sort of a top and skirt sort of situation. So what I'm going to be doing is two skirts basically, but our date night skirt is from Pacific Islands Art. So Pacific Islands Art um, are wonderful. They use traditional Tahitian prints and blocks to do what they do um, at their wonderful outlet in La Toka. And my gorgeous model is wearing a thrifted top. Now, the top was actually first thrifted from Sydney's Closet, I think it's called. So that's at um, Mid City. Nice. Um, so Mid City, where Le Chic is, so on that same floor. So it's a lovely little sort of like thrift sort of center. So this is one look. The bracelet is from Pacific Designer or Aladdin's Cave, which is a local designer. She actually gets her stuff designed and made in Turkey, but it is very much Fijian design. So this is one way to wear this look, and I'm all about versatility. So this top is actually a dress, um, and I also like to take inference. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, she's super skinny, but whatever. I mean, it look the same on me. Um, but I like to take inference from our culture. So, you know, like the idea of a Sulu Chamba sort of thing. Okay, so we're going to, like, play with this a little bit. So could I just pull this out? Keep this part up and maybe not to make it look as unflattering as what I'm doing right now. So we're going to drop the dress and we're going to pull the skirt down a little bit. Let's pull the skirt down just so that we see a little bit of the PIA at the bottom there. And then we're going to get a gorgeous jeweled belt. Um, so the Zubair Boudoir also collects vintage stuff um, and sells. This is $5 at the Zubair Boudoir. I'm probably going to buy it for myself because I think I would look amazing in it. Although I don't know if it'll fit me as well as it fits the model. And we just pull the belt. Oops. Pull the belt and we're going to knot it through for a bit of a jeweled detail, like jewelry. And there you go. There is our second date night look from exactly the same pieces. I love it. Two date night looks. Two date night looks. In case you have two dates on the same night which, you know, if you don't, then you're not living right. Okay, so we've gone through all the date night looks and now it's time for the street looks. Um, so Andrew is first up and he has here the streetwear look, sorry, can you just tell us more about this? Uh, yeah, so I've actually been really into the streetwear vibe lately, as you can tell. Um, even parts of my outfit are thrifted. Um, so with this outfit, um, I started off with this really cool sort of kimono jacket from um, Zubair. Um, and I use that as my base and then I am found this top and these cut off denim shorts from the bulk. Um, it's got a really cool like graphic print on it. I just realized that it's got Bambi's butt on it but you know please excuse that. You can, you can um, censor that. Um, 
Yeah, so again, yeah, paired her with the denim shorts and then she's just wearing like some very casual, I think they're vans, you can wear them with cons or any sneakers that you might have. I love it. Uh, and overall, like how much did this cost? Uh, so the top I think was about $4.90, the shorts were um, around, uh, they were a bit more expensive, I think they were like $10. Um, and the shoes are the model's own. And then I found this cool necklace at Value City and it was half price off, so I think this was like $2. So all together it came under budget. Yeah, just a really cool little necklace. It has a graphic OMG on it. <laughs> so this is kind of like a young, um, look for, you know, a girl that's a little bit more adventurous with her style um, and also kind of has like a Tokyo sort of streetwear vibe to it as well. Yeah, so that's, that's what I came up with. I quite enjoyed this part, yeah. So that's a streetwear look on a budget. Okay, now for Dan's streetwear look. Um, of course, he has a piece from a local designer and also some pieces that have been thrifted. And yeah, just tell us more about it. Um, so I'm a person that loves a good pop of colors in my streetwear look. So I went with this neon orange top with the little, uh, with sequins and details on the neckline. Um, this green skirt, which has uh, little peplum details. This is about $5 and the top was seven dollars and this uh, kimono uh, coat from Zubair Fiji and uh, one thing I also like about this top it's you can wear it two ways it's actually a um, you can wear it as a dress so I'm just gonna pull it out so there you go you can also wear it as a dress and which is kind of street too and also, um, since we're suffering from this global pandemic, you, all, you don't always have to sleeve to keep safe too. So I went with this uh, Michael Mosio face mask to complete my streetwear look. And uh, yeah, that's what I put together. <laughs> Now we're here with Buzz for our final streetwear look. So you say that you love streetwear so much, like what is it about streetwear that you love? You know, um, one of my very favorite designers, a Japanese designer, Yoji Yamamoto, said um, that he is much more interested in what people wear on the daily or in everyday life, um, rather than necessarily what they wear, for example, on the red carpet. And I think it's, I think it's for that reason that I like streetwear. I like also to see what people wear every day because it's like, it's fashion alive every day. You know, like you're not dressing up for an occasion, you're dressing up for yourself. Um, and I think that's really cool. And I think that streetwear should be dramatic. So this is not very dramatic at the moment. <laughs> it's gonna be. Um, basically what we've done is, like I said, you know, focusing on bottoms. And so this is a beautiful, very luxurious, sort of like luscious buttery skirt from Zubair Fiji. Um, I like it, there's such like interesting weight to it and because of its shine, like ordinarily somebody might think oh that's for like an evening look or, or a date night look, but I think that these are things that you can sort of um, turn into streetwear, basically by putting a pair of sneakers on. This is a thrifted t-shirt, um, which was like, I think it was like $3 or something, but this is boring. So what we're going to do is, we're going to change it up a little bit. Now, I think that it's, I'm not going to stab you, I promise. I think, that, <laughs> I think that it's important to note that like, when you buy thrifted items, or anything for that matter, you can change things um, to make them sort of more appropriate to your particular style. I like crop tops. You're a fantastic body. I mean, anybody who, ha you know, um, even plus size women, don't be afraid to do it. Like, you can show just a little bit of skin and find a husband. Are you looking for a husband, Adam? No? no? You're one of the smart ones, aren't you? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut just to under bust. 
And then we're going to pull this t-shirt up and we're going to tie a knot right there. There we go. So we have a little detail in the front and we're showing a little bit more skin, which is fantastic, which is exactly what we want. Now the t-shirt in itself is cool, but it's something that we can make even better. This is a bag that you'll be carrying, by the way. So what I also encourage you to do is go and find like cool little like vintage souvenir things to make things more Fiji. I'm gonna get a close up of these in a minute, but these are um, basically like vintage like patches uh, from old Fiji. Um, but these are cool little details that you can add on to t-shirts, to shirts, to jackets. Um, basically just using safety pins, especially if you're a little bit lazy like me. So I'm gonna try not to stab you. Um, no promises. So get a big safety pin, put it through, and there we have a detail. And just because I'm a little bit extra, we're going to do another one. We're going to do one here. Again, I'm gonna try not to stab you, but if I do, don't scream, we're on camera. So down through the other side. There we go, so we have a bit of detail right there on your t-shirt. And just because, you know, I mean, you wanna be out there getting attention, we're going to wrap this scarf around your wrist. So this scarf is from another Fijian designer, um, Aladdin Cape. Uh, so Elaine Taylor, uh, this is actually printed with um, Masi and also with Samoan traditional type of print. Um, and it is printed on silk with rolled edges. I think that's just a really cool detail because I really think that when you wave your hands around, you should like get attention. And this is clearly illustrating my absolute love for streetwear. So we're going to put this nice thrifted sequin bag right over you like that. And there you have it. I mean, like I've also got sunglasses. See, it's like a never ending look. Here we go, put these sunglasses on, darling. There we go. And now you are ready for a day on the town. How do you feel? Excellent, I like it. There you have it guys, our final streetwear look. There you have it guys, that was our style challenge. I hope that you both enjoyed that as much as I did. Very what did you guys think? Who do you think is the winner amongst the three of us? No, well, it's so hard to, uh, yeah. it's hard to judge. We all have a different, different uh, taste. 100%, but I think I won. <laughs> but <laughs> just you have more accessories. <laughs> no, I, 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 think that, I think that everybody looks really cool and um, like the two stylists said, they are such distinct looks and this is exactly why people hire stylists or work with stylists. It's to create different looks and it's to complement your personality or to help you um, develop your personal sense of style based on the stylist that has the most sort of similar style to you. So guys, reach out to stylists. I mean, these are two incredible stylists next to me. If you have people in your life who are interested in fashion, but not so much in design, maybe a little bit more in putting together the whole look, then reach out to them, support them, let them be your first stylist. Uh, thank you both for being a part of this wonderful episode. All the looks will be up on our Instagram page. Please head on, uh, let us know which looks you liked, which looks you didn't like so much. Give us some feedback, we're happy to hear it. This wasn't a competition. This is just some, a friendly challenge between three friends. So thank you very much. Coming up next week is our belonging episode and the final episode of our season. I look forward to seeing you then. Stay safe and take care of each other.